The Punisher Season 2, Episode Number 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of The Punisher last week. A big shootout once again. It's The Punisher, right? At this point, I damn near expect a big shootout every single, well, every other episode. But fantastic shootout at the little motel, man. We ended the episode. Everybody's in custody. The new big bad is there as well. And I feel like this episode is going to... It's going to be another big shootout. <laughs> you know what I mean? Frank called Madani. She kind of denied him. I think in the end, she is ultimately going to end up coming here or at least getting involved in this stuff with Frank or Pete rather. You know what I mean? Just because one, it'll probably get her mind off Russo, but also two, maybe she wants, you know, to be able to talk to somebody about Billy, give Frank an update or something along those lines. We see how much it's affecting her still. And we see everything Billy is doing, man. Again, I'm, I'm on the fence if he's lying or not. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was lying. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't lying either way. You know, he's obviously subconsciously remembering some stuff. He just can't put the pieces together. Like they said, kind of trying to fit the jigsaw back together, so to speak. But I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. I think season two is off to a great start so far. So guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to open it this episode. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel. You do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. We need our angel back in the choir. It isn't quite the same without our Rebecca's voice. How's she feeling this morning? The new treatment's taken some getting used to. Well, the side effects can be very uncomfortable, but Dr. Scully has high hopes. It's a potentially groundbreaking technique. Very positive results coming out of Germany. Well, we're both in your debt. I have become recently aware of a serious matter, one that threatens everything that we hold dear. It's going to need a special kind of attention. Welcome any opportunity to prove my faith. I'll send mm. someone along with the details. In the meantime, just know that as in the book of Daniel, one of ours has been thrown to the lions. I wonder if this is maybe how he gets involved with what we're doing now, right? Jesus said, when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing so that your alms may be given in secret. I'll only be gone a couple of days. I love you. Mm. He didn't say it back. Interesting. Mm. Yep. Damn. I wonder if he tried to get them removed, right? That's not them just being faded. I love how they just give little details like that, right? And we right back here. So this was the mission he was sent on though. Obviously not after Frank. This is kind of like all a part of it. But after the girl, for whatever reason, I wonder what photos she has then, right? What what the photos are of. Damn. This show is so good at setting stuff up with their intros, man. Every single week. I love it. Sometimes I forget the intro hasn't even played yet, and then it hits. It's just perfect, dude. This is one of my favorite intros. It, 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 just the black and white, the guns, the music. It's so good. It's simple. Not over the top, but it fits. That piss? Gonna mix with the shit that's about to rain down. How's was the leg. <laughs> Next time I'll hit more than your hand. Yeah. You do, Mary. <laughs> Shows I'm married. True. Hey, you think you could give me a coke? You got a dollar? What? Seriously? I'm not about to spend my own money on a suspect. I'm not a suspect. <laughs> I'm the victim. Ask your boss. She trying to sweet talk him, man. See above the door over there. Now where I come from, you hang it the other way. See, you guys got it all pointed down like that, and all the luck just runs out of it because gravity. Right? <laughs> Trust the horseshoe. Me, it's worth the buck. When's it stop, Rachel? Or is it Susan? No, Peggy. Mm-hmm. Fake IDs. Or maybe Stephanie. Your prince came back. Same prince, but under more aliases than Carter has pills. <laughs> Damn. 
I intended on treating you as a minor, but since you won't be straight with me, I'll just take the average age of all your aliases and call you 18. I'm 16. Throw her in the woman's cell with that hard ass she came in. No, 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 you, you can't do that. She's trying to kill me. What about the guy? He... He saved me. Saved you? What was all that crap about him tying you to a bed? He did that too. They're both crazy and I just happen to get in the way. The boy who cried wolf. Two truths and a lie. Such bullshit, man. She's like, bro, the, like, it's so manipulative. She's such a liar. Two truths and a lie. Fuck. Oh, she's pissing me off. Former military, former security contractor, as were those four corpses at the motel. Mm. See? If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Makes <laughs> sense. But you, Castiglione, you make no sense. No known address. Apis came back with nothing. You're a choir boy, apparently. <laughs> Election year? Racking mm. up votes by playing the hero? You let me out now. I'll tell my people not to permanently erase your name from the ballot. People who paid her, they're gonna want this cleaned up. They're gonna want it done quickly. Delayed gratification's good. He just, he's confident, but like, bro, he doesn't know what the fuck he's fucking with, man. But at least Pete knows a little bit about her now. Not a ton, but small details are important. Trying to fully recall a nightmare is like pulling on a spider web. If you yank hard on it, you're going to break it. But we're gently pulling on that spider web. And once we've pulled it all out, you can leave nightmare helplessness behind and you can start to gain a mastery over it. Control. You're agitated because you need sleep. Hey. Yeah, he still remember how to fight. Oh shit. Damn. Oh! Break his arm? He sure remembers how to fight. That's for sure. Damn, is he escaping right now? Woo! Billy about to get thrown back into the story. More so, anyway. Why don't you say something? I don't want you to get hurt. Billy, you're not ready to be on your own. Okay? You can trust me. It's not too late to put this right. We can do that, you and I. There's no putting this right. Damn. He still remembers how to fight, man. Probably muscle memory. Are you really just wrong place? Wrong time? Yeah. I guess that's shitty luck for both of us, huh? So why? You know, I've been asking myself the same thing. I like that they get to have a little conversation. Paperwork's on route. Damn. It's probably coming through as we speak. Bottom line, I'm here to take two prisoners off your hands. We're talking about a white male, white female. Correct? Yeah. Mm. Hang on, you're talking about a female juvenile. That's right. She's still in your custody, I hope. Yeah, thing is, we barely had time to process the girl. Well, not till they've been arraigned. When's that? Later tonight? This Thursday. Mm. Thursday? <laughs> what kind of town is this? Kind that does arraignments on Thursday. Mm. He knows these people are them that Frank was warning him about. Did you take an oath when you came into office? I did. Before God. I'm not about to break it. Mm. I respect that. He that sows the wind shall reap the whirlwind. It's about to go down. Now, now he's a little bit more spooked. Go. <laughs> Man said, so don't tell me twice. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. You guys need to do something right now. The music. Get the ladies on the phone. Phones out, Sheriff. Yep. No, seriously, I'm a kill sprint. <laughs> I'm a kill sprint. Please just let me go before they come. You need to start talking. Who's coming? What is this, Sheriff? We don't know what this is. But you're holding a rifle? Damn. Bro, I see the Sheriff pull out a rifle and start acting all antsy. I'm grabbing a gun with him. I ain't asking questions. There's only three of them here, too. You better let Frank out. That's your only hope. You think Billy was planning this? You don't? There was an activation of Billy's fear network in response to 
emotional and cognitive triggers. Responses to that kind of activation include escape, avoidance. It's primal, it's involuntary. Everything I saw was a confused and frightened individual acting on impulse. You think I'm so bad at what I do that I can't tell the difference? He's just so manipulative and she knows it. I banned you, Agent Madani. Ah, Brett. I'm sick of asking nicely because your visits could impact any case we bring against Mr. Russo. I am just doing my job. You don't have a job here, Agent Madani. The good doctor thinks Russo is a lost soul cast adrift in the world. Maybe you two deserve each other. Now she knows, though, that her and Billy had a thing because of what Brett said. She made a face when he said that, man. She probably thinks she's just bitter, but she ain't. Stiglione, let's go. Is that from, is he calling, is she calling here? What do you think is going on right now? I think the phones are ringing. That feedback from the radio tells me there's a jammer out there. I think you're sitting alone in the dark, Sheriff. You got wolves all around you. There's a bar outside Detroit. I was having a beer. That woman and her team, they showed up. They went after the kid hard. I stepped in. All in all, 13 bad guys, they got put down. See, in the process, they shot a friend of mine. And that pissed me off. Mm. 13 train killers. I guess not so much. <laughs> He's like, so what are you? Why get involved? A man's got a right to defend himself and defend those who can't. You laid up for them in that motel. You could have run. You didn't. If you run, you can't see what's coming up from behind you. That's premeditation. Mm. What do they want from you? If I take the charger, I'll be back with the cavalry before these jokers even realize it's happening. Don't do it, Sheriff. They're waiting. Or they already slashed the tires. I love this, man. This is so good. I love seeing the interaction between everybody. Yep. Shit. What the hell? It's too much car. <laughs> Dude, he got hit. They didn't even see it or no. One shot. I'm hit. Cover us. Damn, he got a bulletproof vest on at least. Maybe they're not going to kill them, right? Maybe they just want to keep them contained and all they want is them. They don't want to press forward if they don't have to. Yeah. Murphy. Look. I see him. Say the word. Hold your fire. Get him inside. Only way, only reason they got back inside is because he wanted them to. He'll survive, but only if he gets to a hospital. He's got a wife and a child. He's protecting godless people. Undeserving of your honor. Do the right thing. Give us what we came for and we'll leave quietly. You have my word. From one God-fearing man to another. I do believe him, man. That's the thing. I do. This is an interesting villain. I, I love it, man. They, you know, the Daredevil universe, Marvel universe, I guess in general, you know, Daredevil and this, such good villains. You saved the day one-handed? Yeah. You got a pretty high opinion of yourself. You set the rules, I'll follow them. I give you my word. <clears throat> you might be military, but these people are yours. They're amateurs and you know it. You need all the help you can get. Mm. Help? You're the cause of all this, you murdering bastard. You ever put around in someone? You ever fire your weapon in the field even? Mm. That's what I thought. Damn. So badass. Honest, geez, I shouldn't even be in here. My own goddamn brother locked me up for being drunk in public. Damn. Yo, kid, oh, get your ass in here and talk to me. That's his brother. You got a one-man army. Just set him loose. Yep. There it is. Industrialized steel. You set Frank loose. Oh, did Frank already get set loose? She set him loose, huh? What are you doing? Yep. He's loose. One-handed. This is so good, the music and everything with it. You know I can't let you run. Your weapon's empty, Sheriff. Damn. Man, I thought last episode we had a dope shootout, Sheen, which we did, but here we are. 
even more badass. How the hell can any of you live with yourselves? I took the same oath as all of you. I intend to keep it. Damn. Well, give me a scatter gun because I'm seeing triple and can't aim for shit. Come on. <laughs> Back door. This corridor leads to the board. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn, nothing in it. Our God is a consuming fire. For the children of this life shall be cast into darkness. Touch thou art. And then took touch shalt thou return. But this world is not your home. What you did was as brave as anyone I ever saw. But now it's time. You said that. You said back. You did your part, man. You got aim black tape. Oh shit. You don't know Frank, man. Frank's had worse injuries than a broken hand. Damn. Woo. That is crazy. Wow. That's a hell of a shot too to hit the bottle. You know what I mean? It's one thing hitting them. Dude unleashed a demon. Frank lives for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, this just shows you how next level Frank is because all these guys have military training too, essentially, right? Oh. Damn, that would have been death. <laughs> Incredible. Turns out he's like the devil or death or something. <laughs> Hell, who gives a shit? As long as he's on our side. Yeah. Be grateful now. Are they gonna run into each other, man? No way we have the showdown so soon. Oh. Oh. Who's this? Madani. Madani, Madani, Madani. Chills, man. What an incredible episode. I thought the shootout from last episode was good and crazy, and it was, but this? Oh my god, man. You change your mind, huh? Someone change it for me. Billy. Billy Russo broke out of the hospital. It's like, well, shit. Now I got two problems. Mr. Castiglione here is part of a very sensitive Homeland Security investigation. Is that right? I would like it if he was never here. Officially. Marine, you saved my ass more than once tonight. Marine. The lives of everyone in that building. That's a fact. So there's a scenario where she doesn't take you and you still weren't here. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. Name's still clear. I gotta take the girl. Unfinished business. That's right. I mean, you don't want her here. They're gonna come back. I love it, man. I love seeing conversations like that between, you know, groups you wouldn't think and working together, man. I think you might want these two. All his stuff. Those were the photos. Where are we going? New York. <laughs> Damn. What an episode, man. Best episode of the season. One of the best episodes of the show, I think, too, so far. Incredible, man. Season 2, episode 3 of The Punisher is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely loved it, man. One of my favorite episodes of the entire show. Favorite episode of the season, for sure, man. Billy escaped, right? It seems like, obviously, we're setting up for him to be... Maybe, like, a, a, a... Sometimes there's two villains in the season, right? You know, Daredevil Season 2, we had the Punisher, which wasn't really a villain, more like the anti-hero. And we had, you know, we had our boy, uh, Kingpin. And then now, we got this. So it's like... 
I don't know. I feel like it's going to be both of them we're kind of focusing on, but it's fantastic to see that when Donnie showed up when she did, that was the number she was calling. She was going to call back here and talk to Frank, man, since Billy had escaped. Had Billy never escaped, she wouldn't have showed up. Frank might have got one in the back, but we know Frank always ends up surviving somehow, some way. You know, at the start of this episode, in the intro, I was like, we had a dope shootout last episode. We might, you know, this episode might be a little chill. No, this episode was fucking phenomenal, man. Literally... 80% of the episode was a fucking shootout damn near. And I love that we had the calm in between it, right? You, you had the setup. They showed up. There was a little bit of calm. The one shot when the guy went out to the charger. Then we had a shootout. We had some calm. We had a shootout. We had some calm. Like, bro, it was perfect pacing. Perfect music to fix it. Like, I don't know if it was a little bit of a remix somewhat of the intro or what. But it was fantastic, dude. They always do such a good job with the montages in this show. Just like last season, dude. The shootout montages we've had. Just so amazing all the time. Like, they've done such a good job with this show. And I'm sad that, you know, it was canceled. And obviously, you know, season two, this is kind of it. I don't know if we wrap up the story or what. I hope we don't end on a cliffhanger. But, ah, uh, fantastic episode, guys. I absolutely loved it. So cool to see... You know, when two characters that are on opposing sides kind of have a little bit of a conversation, like he was talking to the girl in the jail cell, it was cool to see that. And then him working with the officers here, the sheriff, you know what I mean? And the sheriff slowly realizing like, damn, this motherfucker is serious. You know what I mean? And he is on our side and he, he eventually kind of unleashed him, so to speak. But fantastic stuff, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.